This is St. Vincent's Health Talk, a video magazine with the latest news and developments from St. Vincent's Health Services. In this edition, as always, we start with Safety First by highlighting employees who have volunteered to serve as safety coaches. We will also spotlight the recent recognition St. Vincent's has received for its safety program. We will introduce our new midwifery program, take a close look at our vestibular therapy program, and learn about the additional recognitions for St. Vincent's. At St. Vincent's, we're investing in the future and working hard to be the hospital of choice for patients, associates, and physicians. We begin this edition of Health Talk discussing safety, just as we do each morning in safety huddle and at the beginning of each meeting at the medical center. One of the elements of being a high reliability organization is to reward and recognize our safety coaches. So in this episode of Health Talk, we recognize Jenny Carfee, a diagnostic coordinator in the radiology department. Jenny explains what it means to be a safety coach. If I had a family member in the hospital, I would want to make sure that all their meds are safe and their equipment around their beds and just total safe area for my family member. And I would want to do the same for patients. My primary role is to be a role model for my technicians in the department and have a safe environment for patients. I also want to see what barriers are affecting the staff that I can help them out and we can make a safer area. And um, I want to share the stories that I've learned from other people's experiences when we meet at patient safety meetings. We ask uh, the staff if there's any safety concerns. We address any equipment and failures, any patient issues every morning and we log it in a book so that the evening staff can refer to it. We've also implemented a double check on ID bracelets confirming that this is the correct patient that we're bringing in. We also check the outpatient test request to make sure that the patient's order is correct and we by validate and verifying it. Yes, I have seen progress for safety in my department. Washing of hands is really, really improved. Wearing gloves, double-checking charts and ID bracelets. Orders are definitely rechecked. And 200% accountability and teamwork has increased greatly for safety. It's a big concern for all our staff. St. Vincent's has impressively decreased its serious safety events and in June became one of only four hospitals in the state to receive an A hospital safety score from the Leapfrog Group, an independent national nonprofit which ranked hospitals under the guidance of a blue ribbon panel of experts. Following closely after the Leapfrog recognition, St. Vincent's was the recipient of the John D. Thompson Award from the Connecticut Hospital Association for its safety program. Consumer Reports has also named the Medical Center one of the top five hospitals in the state for safety. Director of Quality, Case Management, and Patient Safety, Karen Nefores explains why these designations are so important. It means a lot to patients. Um, patients can look online, consumers um, who are very knowledgeable nowadays, um, they have that access to information and, and they want information. They can look up St. Vincent's Medical Center in a, in a variety of different ways and find out um, how safe is the care that we deliver here. Um, it's also important for our staff, um, for all of us, because we feel so proud of the work that we do and knowing that we're doing the best job that we can to provide the safest care possible. So it means a lot, and, and we know we hear about it a lot um, in the newspapers, et cetera. It's, um, it's out there, so it's important information for us all to be aware of. Even more important is our um, J.D. Thompson Quality Award that we received um, from the state of Connecticut. It's a very coveted quality award. And what's really special about that is that that is, is something that every single associate here can feel proud of because that is really highlighting our high reliability work and the changes that we've made. The LeapFrog panel used 26 measures of publicly available data on patient falls and injuries, medical and medication errors, and complications and infections to determine the ranking. Connecticut Hospital Association selected St. Vincent's for its use of data to bring about change in safety practices.
St. Vincent's Medical Center has a new birthplace, which includes two private birth suites where mothers can labor and deliver under the guidance of a midwife. Although midwives deliver babies at several hospitals in the area, the birthplace at St. Vincent's is the only in-hospital birthing center in Fairfield County. St. Vincent's has partnered with Circle for Life Midwifery in Shelton, whose staff of two certified nurse midwives, Sarah Najemi and Paula Kate, have obstetrical privileges at the medical center. Sarah explains her role as a midwife. Here we do no intervention. We listen to the fetal heart with Doppler. Uh, women are not strapped to a monitor. There's no routine IVs. They get to eat, they get to drink, they get to relax, take a shower and take a tub bath if they need to in labor. They can birth in the water. So this really provides an alternative to typical maternity care in Fairfield County. Our outpatient rehabilitation department is armed with skilled therapists and some of the latest technology to help patients with vestibular or balance problems or issues. Chronic balance issues tend to come from issues stemming from the inner ear or an event in the brain, such as a stroke. St. Vincent's Outpatient Rehab currently has two physical therapists on staff that specialize in treating dizziness and balance. Physical therapist Ann Wolf, a certified vestibular therapist who is also certified in treating dizziness stemming from the neck, discusses how St. Vincent's program differs from others. Our program has uh, therapists who are certified in treating not only dizziness from the inner ear but from the neck. We have um, great uh, equipment such as the dynamic posturography machine, the infrared goggles that can help us diagnose them better and um, we do a comprehensive evaluation not only of the inner ear system but the musculoskeletal system, the sensory system, all looking at how the systems are working together which would affect your balance and dizziness. So I think that our program is um, far more comprehensive than others that are out there. The Vestibular Balance Program also holds NASA technology in its pocket. The dynamic posteography machine creates a computerized assessment of patients' balance challenges. This gives therapists an added ability to test patients in a variety of situations and assess multiple systems, including visual, vestibular, muscular, and sensory. Additionally, new infrared goggles can clearly show involuntary eye movement resulting in severe dizziness. With this knowledge, the physical therapists can tell the type of inner ear problem and why the patient's dizziness and balance issues are occurring. Irene Lindquist, coordinator of outpatient physical therapy. And um, especially with the vestibular program, these patients have been dizzy sometimes for many, many years. And um, most of the time when we finish treating them, they're not dizzy anymore. And it just, it's very gratifying to see that because they have their life back. Patients who wish to have an initial assessment must have a physician prescription for therapy. The Connecticut Hospital Association, in conjunction with the State Department of Public Health, presented its Community Service Award jointly to St. Vincent's Medical Center and Bridgeport Hospital for the Hope Dispensary of Greater Bridgeport Project. The two hospitals, in collaboration with the Primary Care Action Group, state agencies, and the City of Bridgeport, and with the help of a $160,000 grant from Ascension Health, organized the creation of the pharmacy, which opened in March of 2011. The Hope Dispensary provides prescription medicines at no cost to uninsured low-income residents of the area. Mission Services Vice President Bill Hoey discusses how the pharmacy project originated and why it is so strongly supported by the community. The Hope Dispensary is one of those projects that just touches people's hearts. It works on so many different levels. Um, doctor's offices are able to donate medications that would go into the landfill or the waterways. Um, poor patients who need access to medication are afforded access to medication. The community benefits, the patients benefit, the environment benefits, the doctor's office benefits, and we all benefit because our drinking water is cleaner and our landfills are cleaner. So it's one of those projects that just resonates um, with everyone. 
St. Vincent's pharmacist Christine Tony works on-site, assisted by an intern, helping patients with chronic illness by not only filling prescriptions but by offering other resources, finding more economical substitutions, and educating them about medication therapy. An innovative system was developed to collect still viable prescription medicines donated by physicians' offices and local pharmacies delighted to recycle their unused medicines and to contribute to public health. Christine Tony highlights how the pharmacy is meeting the needs of area residents. Part of St. Vincent's is service to the poor. Um, and I think that maybe the look of the poor has changed um, from what we had anticipated that it, it would be. Um, and we have a lot of older um, people that are late middle aged that are unemployed. We have um, a a broad cross-section of all ethnic groups and backgrounds, education backgrounds and things like that. And I think um, us being able to be here is exactly an offer to something for free, both the information and education as well as the medication is certainly um, what St. Vincent's is all about. Since its opening, more than 1,700 patients have been helped by the Hope Dispensary and the value of medications dispensed has reached almost $200,000. If you would like to learn more about any of the topics discussed in this video, please visit www.stvincents.org. We conclude this issue of Health Talk with St. Vincent's new TV ad airing on regional cable and local network stations. The ad was developed by Noreen McNicholas and Lucinda Ames of the Marketing Department with video production by Manhattan Place Entertainment. The stars of the ad are from the Department of Cardiovascular Services and their patient, whose story is real. I went outside to shovel snow, then I started to get weaker and weaker. I thought it was asthma. It turned out I had a heart condition. We literally had to stop Teresa's stress test to avoid her having a heart attack. Emergency bypass surgery was needed to save her life. Many years later, I feel great. I'm active. I love to travel. I still participate in all my sports. Thanks to St. Vincent's, I'm here to tell my story.